So what yoga does for everybody in terms of benefits of yoga is you've probably heard, well, it, you, you reduce the stress, it helps you stretch, you sleep better. What it can do for those of us with autoimmune diseases is a little more specific is it does reduce pain, mm -hmm. which is a big one. It um, improves circulation, which can be an issue. A lot of us are on medications that damage our bone density. Mm -hmm. It improves bone density. And that's the one thing I'm very lucky with. The doctor was amazed at how well my bone density is above average. Excellent. That's unusual, she said, but that's because I have to have blood work. One of the reasons we insist I have blood work so often because then the bone density, because insurance will not pay for the test so very often. So it's like, okay, if I but I, so far I've had no problem with that because they do do a low varying weight. Mm -hmm. I do that like 15 minutes every other day, mm -hmm. unless I'm more scared of this kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah. So that, um, and, but that's something, so yoga has a lot of benefits, but different diseases, you know, it'll impact them differently. So that's just a few of the ways. Um, it also improves your digestion, which again, well, medications mess with your stomach, that kind of thing. So it can do a lot um, in terms of actual improving your disease pathways and then in terms of like mentally what it does for you, it doesn't just reduce stress, it teaches you better body awareness, which as you report symptoms to your doctor becomes a huge issue. It also, like you've mentioned with your exercise program, it helps you do whatever exercise you're doing better, more efficiently. You know, you, if you go and lift weights, you go and run, that body awareness helps there. It helps you, the meditation aspects really helps you with your pain management mm -hmm. and your attitudes about pain mm -hmm. because being able to focus on, well, how do I feel right now? You know, it's not that, oh, well, my disease, I'm going to die. And, you, you know, that wheel of like, it's cold crushing, you know, mm -hmm. that we all get on when we have chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. But it helps you recognize that, hey, I'm just going through that wheel of stress. Right. I don't really feel that bad this particular <laughs> second. And yes, I am going to die in the end anyway, but right, we're all going to do it someday. Like, you know. Right, so yoga can, that's some of the ways it can physically and mentally help us as we practice with these rheumatic diseases.